So we have arrived to the Argentinian side of Iguazu Falls. My name is Catherine and welcome to my channel. I am on a two week trip to Brazil and Argentina with EF Ultimate Break, which is my favorite travel company for people between the ages of 18 to 35. I love that I can just, if I wanna go somewhere, I go on my own because if I wait for people, I would not have gone to like two thirds of the countries I've been to and I make friends along the way. And this trip has been so much fun. I knew some people going into this trip from going to other trips with EF and meeting those people and then also meeting new people along the way and making new friends. It's just so exciting. But anyway, so I am in Brazil and I just did a whole video and I'm starting this video now at the end of the night because in the morning it's always hectic especially because tomorrow we have to be on the bus at 7 a.m already checked out things packed breakfast eaten and everything and i know it's gonna be hectic so i want to get a proper introduction the night before i've just learned that's what works best so for tomorrow's plan so we've been in brazil this whole time except for a little excursion i just did to paraguay if you want to see that that was in my last video it was fun to be able to say i've been to paraguay it wasn't like as authentic and like full of an experience as other countries I've been to but I had the opportunity and I decided why not because Paraguay is just not a common place for tourists or tours or whatever to like have and to go on so anyway tomorrow's plan as I mentioned 7 a.m. we're on the bus we have a flight from uh, the closest, the Iguazu Airport, I guess I would, I should say, the Iguazu Airport around here where we landed originally like two days ago, flying to Buenos Aires, Argentina, because right now we're like at the very northern bit of Argentina that borders like Paraguay here, Brazil here, and then Argentina is down here. So we're at the very top bit, whereas Buenos Aires is like in the middle of the country. So we have to take a flight, otherwise it's going to be a long drive. Um, and the flight I believe is at 4 and we land at 6-ish, so two hour flight and then we'll check in to the hotel, have dinner and all of that. So it sounds like a pretty good timed flight. And then of course if the flight's at 4 we want to be at the airport around 2-ish. So between the 7 a.m. bus to the airport being there at 2, we're going to have that time to do the Argentinian side of the Iguazu Falls, which we saw the Brazilian side today, whereas this video, which will be focusing on tomorrow technically, if this all makes sense, we're seeing the Argentinian side. My tour guide said that the Brazilian side is best to see if you want to like go on the boat tours, like go into the waterfalls and be like level with the waterfalls. They have this really cool like kind of staircase that kind of descends down that you could um, really get to like go down and see the waterfalls from um, that kind of perspective. And then Argentina is better if you want to drive and be on top of the waterfalls and get like a bigger wide perspective. So we're doing both, which is awesome. And it sounds like we're doing a like hour and a half walking tour and then with that like there's going to be driving time going from brazil to argentina we're crossing like two different checkpoints to get to a different country so that's going to take time because there's 32 of us so of course they need to account for all that time and we're you know going on a flight so we don't want to be cut things too close but anyway that is the plan for tomorrow and then we have like three nights in Buenos Aires and that's the last of the trip like the last bit our first bit was Rio in Brazil and then it was Ila Grande that island which was I didn't know nothing about it and it was beautiful I loved it and then Iguazu Falls here and Buenos Aires which I've actually been to Buenos Aires on the Patagonia trip if you've seen that series 
so i'm kind of excited to go back and actually like be familiar with the town and the city and go to like my favorite like pizza spot and ice cream spot but also see a new perspective because i'm on a different tour and we're staying in a different hotel in a different part of the city so that'll be also really cool and it's just a major city as well so anyway that's quite the long intro i'm going to now pack and shower and do all those things and i will see you in the morning tomorrow probably in the bus maybe at breakfast or maybe even at the falls we'll see but anyway thank you all so much and i'll see you later bye it is now the next morning and i'm waking up because we have to wake up at like 5 30 and i'm going to the border and we have two checkpoints this is the first one i'm obviously not going to film inside um but we're going to go into argentina at some point i don't know if it's here or the next one but Okay, so we have arrived to the Argentinian side of Iguazu Falls. So my guide was saying, and like I've said before, the Brazilian side is best to see the panoramic views, and then the Argentinian side is best to see from up above. So it's 9 and we have until 2, we have an hour and a half walking tour, lunch at some point, and then I'm not sure what. Um, and then the airport's like 15 minutes from here, and our flight's at 4, so then we'll to the airport and go to Buenos Aires but it is already so packed as you can tell and yeah I'm excited otherwise it's gonna cost you 25,000 <laughs> you can see the the Brazilian part the Brazilian side is bigger the reserve 185,000 hectares uh, on the Argentinian side is 85,000 so it's smaller the forest but the parts I mean the places where you can see the falls are bigger right so we, we have this trail Garganta del Diablo Devil's Throat this is where we are going now so to go to get to this point here we have to catch this little train that departs every 30 minutes from the central station right so it's a uh, three kilometer ride, approximately 15 minutes to this point here. And then we have to walk, right? So we're going to walk one kilometer, 100 meters to the viewpoint. This is where you might get wet as we're going to be on top of the, this big waterfall. If it's windy over there, you might need your, your raincoat, okay? And then we walk back the same way. It's flat no steps so 2.2 kilometers this is the first part okay so usually it takes like one hour one hour and 30 minutes to do this section this part of the, the tour and then we can do the blue circuit the upper circuit right so i will explain you later how it's going to be this one and in between this one and the lower circuit we have like a food court so you guys can have lunch or something because from here we are going to the airport right so the airport you're going to fly to buenos aires so it's better to eat something here in the park i will ask the driver to pick us up there so we don't have to walk the whole way back to the entrance to save us like at least 30 minutes okay so remember this is a very long waterfall system 2.7 kilometer and this is the the highest one, Devil's Throat, 82 meters, 250 meters wide, and half of the river is falling right here. So about 1 million, 1.2 million liters of water per second. Jesus, right here. The deep, so the falls divides the Iguazu River into the upper, Iguazu Superior, this part, it's three kilometer wide, and then it narrows down to 100 meters now this is the lower Iguazu the deepest part of the river is here approximately 25 meters deep and here it's two meters only right it's not so deep but it's very very wide so 20 kilometers down here this is the where the Iguazu River meets the Parana River that's the end of the Iguazu
Yes, I did that when the walk at foundation. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. Cute jump. Oh. Hi, sweethearts. Hush, mush. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's more. Oh it's gosh. The entire family. Dude, I love them. They're so cute. I love. They're dangerous. They're I so love cute. anything with a long snoot. Are you ready to do a little jump for us? They're so cute. Okay, so we just finished the waterfalls. And it was beautiful, but it was very crowded. So that kind of made the experience last fun, but it was still very worth it. And we just saw all the raccoons and went on the train. And now we're gonna get lunch and head to the airport to go to Buenos Aires. So that is the plan so far. Mm -hmm. food, as per every buffet ever. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so we have made it to the room. I, no matter what flight I do, short or long, get so tired. I'm so exhausted, literally. I was walking to the elevator. I left my tea because they have tea here in the lobby. I left my tea on the reception desk. I left my water bottle on the couch. I'm just so tired and out of it. Um, but we're at our hotel room, so I'll give a little room tour in a second or maybe tomorrow, we'll see. But it's already almost eight and there's actually a steakhouse here in Buenos Aires that is known to be the number 10 best steakhouse in the world. We cannot get reservations online last minute because that makes sense. But they do have like a walk-ins available. So we're gonna see if we can do a walk-in and we're willing to wait an hour or two, but past that it's gonna be after 10. So that's the plan. We literally just got here. I might change because it's a little chilly here. It's like in the 50s Fahrenheit. Um, and then from there go to the steakhouse and see how that works out and if not there should be other food places as well But yeah, so we're gonna do that. Also, we're staying at the Believe Madero Hotel And this is what the room is looking like. It looks nice We got a twin and it feels like the softest bed so far So I'm excited about that and then we have a like literally California king bed like this is massive so because I took, hello, <laughs> so because I took the bed, the big bed, two hotels ago, my roomie is going to have this one, and then I'm going to take this one, and this one does feel bigger than the twin, I think, last mm -hmm. time, which is good. And then, let's see the bathroom together for the first time, because I haven't even seen it. Okay, oh, there's a tub. Got a tub situation. And the sink, a lot of white. Yeah. It's kind of hard to, to zoom out when there's only so much space. Yes. So I just used the, the toilet, right? When you like lean okay. forward, it like leans with you. Oh, it's not fully secure in the floor? No, no. That's fun. And then like the, 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 the flush, like the flush thing, like the, the button was was disconnected and I was just like I thought it was like a, a pull, you know? Okay. And it wasn't a pull. Like I had to like put it in and then flush. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. You know, there's always something. But anyway, that is the room. Just a quick room tour since we got here and it's mostly in one piece the room before we unpack. But yeah, that's what it's looking like and now we're gonna attempt to get dinner at the steakhouse. We'll see but we'll eat either way. Okay, I got calamari with a side salad. If I had known, I wouldn't have gotten the massive side salad. Flo also got calamari with um, fries. And then we got chicken, I believe. Chicken, steak, some other stuff and steak. Beautiful. So change of plans. We did not go to the fancy steakhouse because it turns out it's 30 minutes away and we have no reservations and we'd probably wait a long time or not ever eat and at that point it was 8 8 30 and we were already hungry so we just went out with the group and went where the tour guide took us we had a lovely dinner as you saw i got calamari with a side of a salad and that salad was like a whole meal and the calamari came with a side salad so if i had known i wouldn't have got it but we had a really good time had a lot of laughs and on the way back, I wanted to get a water. I thought I was getting like a large water bottle and they have kiosks here. So we can't like really see and pick ourselves. We just tell the person behind like the door what we want. And this is what I got, <laughs> this massive water bottle. So I think I'm set for the rest of the trip, which is only like three days or something like that. If that was like the travel day. But anyway, this has been my day today with the falls on the Argentinian side and then flying to Buenos Aires. I think I have enough footage to make this its own video. So thank you all so much for watching. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a walking tour in Buenos Aires. So stick around for that and I hope you enjoy watching. Thank you. Bye.